Hey guys, this is a pretty cool 23 second video. We can watch it really quick. The guy goes through and does a couple spinners and he manages to get all the spinners in the exact area he needs to tell the story of the video. Fight, bro? Oh yeah? What are you gonna do about it? Turn around? What the? That's a pretty cool 23 second video, but I'm wondering how long did it take him to record it? I figured out that the expected time to make that video is 239.76 hours. You wanna see the math? He ended up doing the spinner six times, so let's make this table showing the six spins. For the first plate, we can split this up into 12 congruent parts and one twelfth of it is successful. So that probability of success would be one twelfth. And then for the second plate, it can be split up into six congruent parts where one of them is successful. So that probability would be one sixth. For the third plate, one eighth is successful. For the fourth plate, two ninths is successful. The fifth plate is one eighth and the sixth plate is one eighteenth. So now we have our table showing the successes of each of the six spins. If we multiply all these probabilities out, we end up with two over 746,496. And that'll simplify to one over 373,248. That means for one successful video, we expect it to take 373,248 attempts. And this looks important, let's put a box around it. And now we can make another table. All these 373,240 attempts are gonna end up being one of these scenarios. It'll fail on the first spin or the second spin or the third spin and so on. If they fail on the first spin, they're not gonna keep spinning, they're just gonna start over. And in that case, that would take two seconds. And then failing on the second spin would be five seconds. Failing on the third spin would be nine seconds. Fourth would be 12 seconds. Fifth would be 16 seconds. The sixth spin would be 19 seconds. So that'd be pretty frustrating. And then the successful one would be 23 seconds. Now let's add another column of the probabilities for each of these events. We already did the probability of a successful take. That's going to be all of this stuff multiplied. But now we got to figure out these other ones. So looking at this first event, this is where the first spin fails. And that's going to be an 11 out of 12 probability because the probability that the first one succeeds is 1 12th. So the probability it fails is 11 twelfths. Now for the next one, we need the first one to succeed, which would be 1 12th. And then we need the second spin to fail, which would be five sixths. And then for the third one, we need the first spin to succeed, which would be one twelfth. We need the second spin to succeed, which would be one sixth. But then we need the third spin to fail, which would be seven eighths. And that pattern will continue for the rest of these. Now let's multiply these out. One twelfth times five six is equal to five seventy seconds. And then we can multiply these three and we get seven over 576. And then we can multiply the rest of these out. These top four are already simplified, but this one, top and bottom are both even, so it can simplify to that. This one can simplify to this, and this one can simplify to this. Now we have all the probabilities. This is telling us that 11 twelfths of all of these attempts failed on the first spin. So if we multiply these, that'll tell us the expected number of attempts that failed on the first spin. And that'll be 342,144. And then to get the expected number of attempts that fail on the second spin, we would multiply this times this to give us 25,920. And then we can do the same thing here. This times this gives us 4,536. That means that we expect 4,536 of all of our attempts to fail on the third spin. And then we can keep multiplying all of these to give us these breakouts. And then we expect one attempt out of all of these to actually succeed all the way to the end. We're kind of running out of room. We only use these probabilities to get these attempts, so we can get rid of those. Let's scoot this over and let's add another column. We're gonna figure out the time spent doing all this stuff. For the first one, if they spent two seconds each for this many attempts, that means they spent 684,288 seconds for these attempts. And then if they spent five seconds for each of these 25,920 attempts, that means 129,600 seconds were spent on these attempts. And we can keep multiplying these down to figure out all of these numbers. And now this represents all the time that was spent. So if we add all these up, we can get the total. It ends up being 863,122 sex. That is a lot of sex. Let's find out how many hours that is. We can take this number here, multiply it by one minute over 60 seconds, and multiply it again by one hour for 60 minutes. First, let's cancel our labels. The seconds on top and bottom can cancel each other out. And then the minutes on top and bottom can also cancel each other out. So now the only label we're left with is hours. 
Let's just rearrange this stuff. 863,122 divided by the quantity 60 times 60 is approximately equal to 239.76. That means in order to record that 23 second video, they spent an expected number of hours of 239.76. This is only about 15 minutes short of exactly 10 days. So that'd be basically 10 days of continuous filming without any sleep or anything. How exciting.